Hi guys, welcome to another episode on Live, Learn and Repeat. And to this episode, I'm gonna be talking about my experience dating somebody from America. experience dating somebody that is not from here right yeah so i'm gonna link it up somewhere here, yeah here. so it's my perspective on dating a nigerian yeah and my experience is an american uh -huh. so um okay so if you've not subscribed to the channel don't forget to do so by clicking on the subscribe button below yeah and also don't forget to click the notification icon okay. that way you get notified when i publish new videos on mondays and Thursdays. yes right okay <laughs> let's get into it okay now <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I have a lot to say. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Go. Okay, so um the first thing is that um we um how would I put it now? We we've been Average. friends before okay. we started dating. Yeah. I think that it's good to put some perspective on it. Like yeah. we've been friends, we've been talking for a long time, then we we were friends for a while before yes. we started dating. Yes. Right. We've been talking for a lot three different things. Talking Talking. Friends. But not talking, not, not like talking, talking, talking. talking yeah. Like, like talking as in casual, yeah, yeah. how are you, things. Yeah. So you have to define. Talking. Talking, yeah. talking. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of like the context that we have. So um, also we have like different, different backgrounds. I mean, we grew up in a very different environment. Yeah. What's acceptable to her might not be acceptable to me, but I'm a very open person. She's also a very open person as well. So that kind of like makes things a bit easier a little bit as far as culture yeah. and background is concerned. We're really open people. So, yeah. um, but the main crux of this video is that I cannot tell you the number of times that people have asked me legitimately that when I get a with your American girlfriend. I'm like, can you people just let me leave? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm in America for school. Mm -hmm. I'm not here because I want to get married or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right, so it kind of like pisses me off in a way because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's annoying when people see that the next thing that is on my plate right now is should be getting married. You get what right, I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of like annoying and it's so... Um, and from the American perspective too, a lot of people are feel like Nigerians come over here to scam people so they can get their citizenship and their green card just by marrying. Yeah, and then... And it's happened to people. It does. So I'm good. I was going to say something about that. Um, okay, so it's kind of like... Um, that puts pressure on me. Mm. I'll be sincere with you. Like It kind of like puts me in a spot where I know that our receipt is not that good out there. So which means I'm kind of like... I don't want to be part of the statistics. I don't know if you get what I'm saying now. Yeah, so yeah, it kind yeah. of puts me in a spot where I am always extremely careful of how I handle us. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like um, the expectation is so high. Like for me, the expectation is so high that I don't want to be like just. I don't want us to be like the typical like story right. part of the statistics you get right. what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so it kind of like puts me in a spot where i'm forced to be extremely 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 good yeah does that make any sense to you? yeah it makes sense yeah so um that's that's one of it but things. not forced in such a way where it's out of your character though i think that makes a difference too it's not like you're putting on a front because you are a good person yeah uh, i think you're okay, just okay that might, that might have come out like <laughs> Like, what I'm like saying is that like you're pretending to be someone that you're no, not. No, what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that like I'm always like doing my very best possible as a person to make sure that this is not just part of the statistics that is right. out there. You get, you get that my point. <laughs> yeah, so that makes sense anyway. I need, I, oh yeah, that's a very good way to put it. Like, um, yeah, so. The pressure on my phones is that when are you getting married? I mean, 
I'm not getting married anytime soon, please. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. it's none of your business. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for asking. So, um. Secondly, I have a question because Americans, our culture is a lot more liberal yeah. than African culture. So, do like people, do you get, um, like comments on me being scandalous because I'm also a dancer too. So some of the content that I post, you, know, you got body rolls and things like that. Mm -hmm. So like, do you I get mean, feedback from? I mean, I from wouldn't music? really consider myself a typical cultured Nigerian, mm -hmm. really facts. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't put myself in that box and say like I'm really cultured Nigerian, although I do have my limit, like she wants to get a tattoo on her sleeves. I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's your body, but your representation of who I am. You cannot go around walking on the street with tattoos all over your body. I mean, that would freak some, me out. but not everywhere. I mean, there's a limit. I want more. We already discussed this. I don't know. You're not a big fat. I'm like dainty, you know, like I'm small, cute, oh, Jesus sexy. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, about the culture. Minimal. About the culture. <laughs> so, I think um, that kind of like set the pace for any conversation about cultural differences because um, like most people that know me, they know I'm also like a very open minded person, like I said earlier on. Like, I mean, I'm really open-minded. So most of these things that I really freak people out in the African culture, mm -hmm. I'm not really freaked out by it. Like I'm mostly indifferent about it. Somebody once got angry because I'm indifferent about these things. I'm like, I'm indifferent about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's not really like a big deal for me because I know at the end of the day that it's you and I. Like I know you more than any other person that has like something to say to me about you. They don't see me. <laughs> they don't talk to you as much as I do, so they yeah. don't know what you are made of as a person. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So whatever they are saying is based on what you want them to see. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying now? Yeah. Yeah. So that does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah, it does. So the next thing I want to talk about is the food. Yeah, we gotta talk about this because. I'm struggling out here, people. Like, I can't even say your food tastes good because I'm so consumed it by the heat. It tastes good. She cannot stand any pepper. Like, no. It's too much. Just you guys a little bit of. No, she cannot. She cannot stand. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. <laughs> but I've made progress. She tries. Like, I know. Like, it's with jalapenos. Like, oh, um, I don't know. I think it, most of this is probably gonna be. Like on our, on our Instagram or something like that. Huh. I think we need to start talking about our Instagram account. Oh, yeah. I'll put that. our handles below. Yeah. Pause. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, like, um, she always like make efforts to try it, but at the end of the day, I do feel bad and I don't want her to end up with Hossa or whatever, stuff like that. So, right. like, don't worry, don't try. And, I mean, but she can, even when I try to make like soup or stew or whatever and put like the very tiny little pepper that you can find on her she's, no. she's like ah, I'm laying on my tongue like no there's nothing in this thing if my mom cooks for you you're probably gonna pass out like, <laughs> I don't know what do. so I don't know like I, there was a time that I had to put for suggestions and then they came up with um this one with the green pepper Happiness. Yeah, they came up with that. That did not help either. It did. Uh, I ate I a mean, whole thing. You made me all this soup with the you thing. But still said it. something about. I mean, I felt spicy. it. You see, and I couldn't feel but it. But it was that. bearable. I mean, I ate it. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's that's as far as my. Just African goes. pepper. It just doesn't make sense. It's like uncalled what for. Do you mean? We've been having that before we were one years old. Like I've been having pepper before I was one. So, so you cannot... expecting me to eat something that you. I mean, eat when I turn it down, daily, When I turn it down, like to the oh, and, and surprisingly, there was this time that I went out with my coworker when I was working for you and I and um. They were like, their food is so spicy. I'm like, yeah, bring it up. I was anxious, like I was excited to like, at least let me see something like spicy, bro. I tasted the food, I'm like, no, this is not spicy. This is probably like milk to me. It tastes like milk or whatever. I'm like, ah, because can you feel the spice? No, yes. nothing. It doesn't feel hot. 
So um, it's different. So yeah. So I think that's 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 as far that as my experience good. goes. This yeah. Fine? You know, yeah, that's as far as my experience goes generally. Like, yeah. yeah. What's the differences between an American woman and a Nigerian woman? Hmm. Okay, so I don't have a lot of dating experience. I think I have, like, yeah, I have, I had just one girlfriend before now, so I don't have like a lot of stuff on my resume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, one difference is that I don't spend, I don't try to. The financial burden on having an American girlfriend is not as high as the financial burden of having an Indian girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> I mean, um, there's this sense of independence where you don't expect that I pick up your bills. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it almost like this, it was one of the things that we had to discuss earlier on because I was raised in an environment where I have to like try to pick the bill. Like if you go hard, I have, I have to like pay the bill if we do all of that. Like I still do it now, but the point I'm trying to make is that. I don't feel like I have to do it. And we've gotten to a point where like I feel like super comfortable to tell you that we cannot afford this thing. Right. Yeah, I think that's like really cool. In Nigeria you cannot <laughs> you don't yeah, you don't want to tell your girlfriend that you cannot afford it. I mean you can use some other ways to make sure that you don't get to the point of spending <laughs> your money. But you don't wanna just you just don't wanna tell her that right. I cannot afford it. No, that's weak. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so that's like a perk on it. Yeah, and um, the difference is the time. It's time comes on me, like, getting to know another person. Oh, yeah, from a different culture. From a different culture, yeah, it takes a yeah. lot of, like, it's time consuming. Because I remember there was this time that, um, we weren't even dating then, like, we, we were just like friends. Mm -hmm. And then we like kind of like talk almost every day. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you saying I was a burden to no, you? No, not this? a burden. What I'm saying is that like it took a while for me to get used. Okay, so maybe this will set the pace for you. My like when I the person I used to date before, we kind of like just talk. Like I was the one doing most of the like. Talking part, you get you get my point now. So it's kind of like a new environment when somebody you're not even dating invest time in like reaching out to you almost every day. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, I wasn't like just used to it. it was like a different terrain for me. Mm -hmm. So and me being me because yeah, like she knows that I really love like me time. <laughs> like I do love me time. So it took a lot of time for me to get used to the idea of like that constant communication all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But you can't act like you didn't want to talk to me. Who said that? Okay. Who said that? Just making sure. Who said that? It didn't sound like Who said that? I was sexing I, you all the time. No. I um what I was saying was we were not even dating men. I yeah, mean I we were just like cool. like legit friends. I mean if I don't want to talk to you then who else am I supposed to talk to? I mean I had no friends. <laughs> you were like my and then, <laughs> this is it. See, communication is everything. And when she, when I call her and she doesn't answer, like yeah, that's happened quite a number of times. Like, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? I hope you are not like in danger or something. She's like, I'm fine. <laughs> Just answer your call. So, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a lot of balancing, and I'm so glad that I get to like um. Yeah, learn the balance. <laughs> <laughs> That's not yeah. what you were going to say. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, say it's a lot of balancing, but I'm really glad that I get to like, like, tread the balancing, like, learning to like, create a balance between the two, two different backgrounds yeah. with somebody that's also very open and committed to um, meeting me in the middle, right? So mm -hmm. that's really important because, yeah, I'll, I'm not just doing all of the other things to myself. Hey. I can literally feel your head swelling right now. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Stop killing yourself, okay? So um, yeah, that's. I think that's about it. That's it. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below.
And this video is really long. I feel like it's really long. I feel like maybe possibly, yeah. Yeah. Um, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Hello. Give the video a thumbs up. Yes. I will see you in the next video. See you next video. Ciao. I said peace. I said how? Huh? Peace. Well, it's not that long.